Uh, just on that particular point uh, of a dead man walking, I do think that Evgeny Prigozhin, uh, by any, uh, you don't have to be a, an elementary, you don't have to be an international relations professor of uh, a, a, a Russophile uh, watcher here uh, to, to realize that if you uh, go and uh, take Rostov on Don and start marching towards uh, Moscow, uh, you are actually going to be putting yourself uh, in the line of sight, in the crosshairs, if you like, of Vladimir Putin. Now, Putin said after this uh, march on Moscow on the 23rd and 24th of June, he branded Evgeny Prigozhin as a traitor. Um, he then very quickly uh, pardoned him and offered him consequence-free asylum with his men, uh, in Belarus. And it's very interesting that um, Evgeny Prigozhin was being uh, pretty, um, uh, let's just say, bullshy, uh, hardly keeping his head down. He was crisscrossing um, uh, various states on his private jet. And indeed, earlier this week, apparently cropped up in a video on social media, a recruitment video, to actually get people to join his mercenary group in Africa, saying that we were actually recruiting uh, people to actually Russofy Africa. Uh, which seems a bit odd for someone who's actually just been pardoned by Vladimir Putin. You would have thought they would be actually be keeping their heads down. Uh, we've got Edward back on the line. Edward, we were just continuing where we left off. Can, go ahead. Well, I think you just were answering yourself very expertly the question you posed to me. <laughs> uh, but it's, cool. it's, it's, a, it's a real mystery that um, Prigozhin got away with this. Why was he able to have the coup in the first place? That's what Russian military intelligence is supposed to stop. Uh, why did he get as far as he did? Uh, why was he able to shoot down these Russian helicopters and a very valuable spy plane? And then once the coup failed and he backed down, why was he able to swan around, not just in Russia's client state of Belarus, but actually at the um, African summit, wearing very ostentatiously casual clothes, I may say, and then pop up in, in Africa. And it's a real sign of weakness, I think, in the Putin regime that it took so long for them to give him the um, demise that he um, so richly deserved. Now 